out here. Here she is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Spice, who is not only a professional wrestler and a bodybuilder, uh, but also uh, an actress. Yeah, Spice? Yeah. But did, did, but did you tell yeah. them about the movie? You lose where it's dark. It's dark. It's a prank. You look for food. Well, show me a woman <laughs> that can possibly fill the boots of Mosquito Man. <laughs> How do you do? Oh. Come on. Come at me. I don't want to hurt you. Come on, Sergeant Martinez. Let's go. I don't want to hurt you. Come on, baby face. Let's go break some bones. Uh, I'll pass for now. Hey, are you going to climb in this ring or am I going to have to toss you in? Please, get real. Oh. I don't know, but it's got tits and a ray gun. You know that job in laundry you wanted? I got it? No, I did. It's amazing what a cigarette can buy you around here. Especially when it's lit and stuck up someone's nose. <laughs> Miss Harper, don't! Hey, Sheena. How you doing? Why don't you in your workout clothes, Sergeant Martinez? Well, what happened was this. Uh, something's come up, a priority situation. And because of this uh, aforementioned uh, priority situation, I don't think I'm going to have any time for the lesson today. Oh, well, that's too bad. Because I thought we could work on your defensive moves today. My defense is in my strongest suit, you see? I never let my guard down. That's how come I'm... What did you do that for? When your defenses are down is when your opponent is most likely to attack. Uh-huh. And that was your lesson for today. Class dismissed. Sergeant Martinez? You're an hour late for your lesson. Uh, uh listen, Sheena, I, I, don't, I don't think today is a good day, you know? Your brothers told me you were a little depressed. They told you that? Strenuous exercise is the best antidote for any physical or mental depression. Oh, oh yes, and the more strenuous, the better. I'm oh, sure can, you know, he's been in the dump. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, gay hey, pop, help me out over here, will you? No mercy, Officer Piero. Yes, cold. sir. That's cold, Dad. Now, oh. I hear you delivered a perfect side thrust kick yesterday. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I did. Perhaps we should be setting our sights just a little bit higher. Higher? Request emergency assistance. Acknowledge. Understood, Enterprise. We are dispatching a rescue ship immediately. Roger, Starfleet. We never go to his home. He's a married man. We use an apartment that he keeps in the city. He told his wife he was working late and had to be back in Manhattan. And I guess she believed him. He called home before the kids went to bed. You know, just to say goodnight. Which is kind of sweet, don't you think? All right, all right. I'm, I'm going to get to the other part. I just thought you wanted to know every little detail. Well, anyway, he's got this mirror above the dresser. Just like in a hotel room, except that it's a two-way mirror. And behind it, in this large walk-in closet... He's got a camera, recording equipment, and there's an on and off switch by the bed that he showed me when we played the tape back. Part of me thinks, this is pretty weird. But the other part of me figures, hey, different strokes for different folks, right? Whatever you say. So where's the apartment? 604 East 72nd. Hi. 
Hey, hey, Jojo! So nice lady that cracked my ribs last night. That's right. Jojo flagged me a cab home after the party last night, and I couldn't help notice that he was whining about some little pain, so I took him to the hospital. The hospital? Hospital? Jojo? Well, you probably don't remember because they were stuffing you full of all those painkillers. But uh, tell them the good news. Oh, uh... Hey, I feel much better now. How stupid. We got married. Huh? Married? <laughs> hey, Jojo. Oh, good, you're home. Boy, do I got a surprise for you. Yo, Nick. <laughs> Me. Yeah, and hey, you like that surprise? You are going to love this one. Now, don't tell her now before this gets worse. My mother's moving in. Oh, oh I got a bad feeling worse. Well, oh, Howard, Howard, listen to me. I, I got a surprise for you. Oh, I oh, love geez. surprises. Make it good. Oh, Michael, why don't you pack up your clothes from your old room now that you're here? My clothes? His old room? Well, yeah, I mean, Mom's going to need her privacy, and Nicole certainly doesn't need two fathers now that I'm here. Well, oh, uh, it was really nice knowing you, Michael. Don't be a stranger. Right. So, Jojo, what was your surprise? Surprise. We were never married. Surprise, even if we were, Nicole's not going to be a wrestler. Hi, I'm Detective Janice Martindale. Hello. Let me know if you need anything, Mrs. Proctor. Otherwise, pretend I'm not even here. Sure. Mrs. Proctor, shall I stay with Sam? No, no, I think the school has the idea now. I have to go to my apartment and pick up some things. Do you want to come with me? Sure, great. You can keep an eye on me in case I try to pocket a clue, right? Here. Hi, it's Detective Braden. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I'll be taking responsibility for Mrs. Proctor and Sam. Okay, fine. I'll catch up with her later then. Hey, we got front row seats to your big match tomorrow night. Oh, uh, well, there might not be a match tomorrow night. What? Why not? Well, that's why I'm late. They had to put my partner Lola in traction. One of them Siberian huskies flatten her? No. She slipped on a bar of soap in the shower. I want a word Mr. with you. Kagan! You know what I caught these boys doing? They were planting a camera in my office. You have my most sincere apology. It gets better. After some interrogation, I found out why they wanted to spy on me. It seems they think I used to be a man. Isn't that the stupidest thing you ever heard? I don't know what could have gotten into them. They even had a picture of my twin brother. They think it was me. I'll see to it that nothing like this ever happens again. I got two kids. Ready? Now. <laughs> You saved Mosquito Woman's life. I did? What a hero. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I guess I did. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, Kyle. That was so brave of you. You obviously still have what it takes. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, I have a great 
idea. Let Kyle be Mosquito Man again so that we can do the movie together as partners. That is, if it's all right with you, Kyle. <laughs> no way, not a chance. That's a big negative. Forget it. I'll go out with you tonight. Five minutes, Mr. Applegate. 